So I wanted to show you in continuing with this little bluebird basket, I'm going to be doing the lazy stitch or I have been doing the lazy stitch. I wanted to add a little bit of a goldish or tan color to try to bring out this little heart in the middle and the flowers there. So I've just been working my way around. If you've looked at the previous video, you saw that I was using the turquoise color to pop these little bluebirds. And I just did a wrap and attached the first coil of pine needles to the basket bottom. So I then wanted to use a tan color, goldish color. And I decided to lose use the lazy stitch because it just gives it another pop of color over that bluebird color, turquoise. So to do the lazy stitch or create it, you continue wrapping just like you did in the first row here, which was simple wrap. But instead of connecting it at the tip here, like we would normally do, you just go down, do about five wraps, four wraps, whatever you feel comfortable with. And you just go down and encircle the row below. Come back up, start wrapping again. I will probably do four or five wraps, depending on where that ends up. Five probably. And I like to snug it up. And then go down and attach it by going underneath the row below. Pull it back up behind, over again. Now I've seen some people work the lazy stitch making two wraps down here and it makes it a little bit thicker and more solid. In this basket, I like the look of just one attaching stitch. So there's, I'm kind of keeping it to four or five and then attaching on either side of this stitch in the row below. So that's how you do it. Go down below, bring it back up and over, tighten it up, start wrapping again. Two, three, four, Five. I think I will use five stitches this time and that kind of matches up below. So that's a pretty easy stitch. It's called the lazy stitch. And it looks really nice over the top of another color. So next I will be working on creating the open V stitch because I think it looks like bird wings or birds. So after I get this done, I will probably start with some pink to pop these little roses and be working on the open V stitch. Thanks for watching. So here is the taupe color Kind of a golden taupe, it matches the flowers perfectly. But here it is after going all the way around with the lazy stitch. You see how it just overlays on top of the bottom row and that's how you connect it so you're not picking up threads. It's very clean, it gives it a nice polished finished look and it's pretty easy to do. So there you go. Let's give you a close-up. That's what it looks like. So I will continue on with this little basket and I will start learning how to create the open V stitch. And hopefully it looks like little bird's wings going through. Thanks for watching.